Okay guys, so today I just going to recycle some material just I used before uh, to show you a trick that I think just might be useful and it's definitely going to be useful for me for the next project. So what I'm going to use is uh, this uh, contact probe uh, just I plugged in the pin A5 on my 3018 CNC and uh, what I want to show you just how to find uh, all the zeros uh, on your workpiece for this corner, this corner, this one is my favorite. This also might be my work. Uh, and uh, so let's just start with this corner. Uh, the other one, you just uh, do the same. You just reverse the sign for the offset uh, on the x axis. So here, first of all, I just want to place this underneath here, like the, I showed you before to do on the z axis. This one is easy. You already know it, so I just going to place it here on the computer side. I just going to type G91 first, and then press enter. And now I'm going to, what I'm going to do just G38.2, and here I'm going to put Z minus 12. So it go down 12 millimeter at the feed rate of uh, 24 millimeter per minute so I press uh, enter and uh, press firmly on the board okay so now it touched and it stopped so what I'm going to do is just going to do G 92 uh, Z 1.6 because I have the thickness of the side of uh, the aluminum angle is 1.6 millimeter. So now the Z axis is done. I just going to continue to on the X and Y axis. So for the X axis, I just going to move it on the side. Like this and move it down. And uh, for uh, to use this probe uh, with the x axis, I'm just going to place it here uh, on the side, this side of the stock, and uh, I will be able to press firmly here. And uh, what I prefer is just use the long side on this because I actually want it to be able to cover the shank of the bit. Because uh, the flute part is kind of like not really uh, exact. Sometimes the flute part is actually smaller compared to the shank. So I prefer to use this part. So I just going to like, press firmly like this and move the uh, spindle this way until it touches the shank of the bit. So I just going to move it down a little bit more and then move it. Okay, I think it's appropriate hard. Just move it this way a little bit. That's too much. Okay, so now I just going to put G38.2 uh, H12 so it's moved to the right 12 millimeter at the feed rate of 24 millimeter per minute. So I just press enter and then in the meanwhile I just have to press firmly on the board here the plate on the this side. Okay, so now it's touch. So on the computer side, I'm going to type in G92 x so for me i put 3.6 minus 3.6 because uh, i have the two diameter is four millimeter and uh, i have the thickness of the plate is 1.6 millimeter 
So I had the radius is two millimeter plus one point six is three point six, and I I was on the left side of the uh, axis uh, corner, so I'm going to do it like minus three point six, and it's set. So I'm done with the x axis. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the y axis. So I just move it back a little bit and move the blade out. Put it on this side and move it here. Move the tool here. Okay, so on this side I have to flip it this way. Okay, so on the computer side I just type in G38.2 uh, Y12 and uh, F. 24 okay press firmly on the edge here of the plate and press enter on the computer okay so now it's touch I'm just going to type in G 38 no G92 uh, space Y minus 3.6 and I'm done with the uh, Y axis so now I'm just going to move it away okay so let's just test if it works correctly so Actually, I'm going to type G1, Z, 0. Okay, so now I think I have to change the mode to G90. Okay, so if I put in Z1, Z0, it should move up to the top of the plate. Okay, so actually I should move it up a little bit more so I can move into the inside the plate. So I just go up. Okay, I put the feed rate about 1000 here. I go move this tool inside. Okay, so now I put G1 x0 okay as you can see it just is like kind of pinpoint at the half of the bit here to the edge so I'm going to move it to the y also g1 y0 Put F, uh, I'm going to say 500. Okay, so also on the Y axis, it's like really like pinpoint here. And I'm going to put G1, Z0, F50. And go slower on the Z because you're going to touch the plate the top of the stock
Okay, let's have a close look at the results here. On this corner, this side, and as you can see here, it found perfectly the corner of the stock. So this is how I found the zero on my workpiece.